and it's there we start. Georgetown and Syracuse, and boy, six weeks ago, Georgetown was sitting at 11 and 5 overall, 1 and 2 in the Big East. Much has changed since then. Again, the Hoyas have won 11 straight. They have vaulted to the top of the Big East. Six of the 11 wins have come on the road. All 11 of Georgetown's wins, again, have come in the Big East. They've never won that many conference games in a row. Jim Beheim, though, his organization has had much success against Georgetown of late. Roy Hibbert early. Georgetown looks good early. The hoop and the block. It was 1914 Georgetown with 818 left in the first half. Here comes Cubes. And he routes for three. And Syracuse leads by five. Georgetown shot 29.8% in this game. The 2 3 Syracuse zone causing them fits. Here the turnover the other way. And Syracuse goes up 50 to 46. Routens for three. Good. 8.30 left in the game. Eric Devendorf, Demetrius Nichols in the corner. Syracuse up by seven. Routens again for three more. Syracuse goes on a 14-0 run in the second half. They start to pull away. Big East leading score. Nichols again. He had 22. Syracuse up by 13. And then under two to go, Devendorf to Mr. Darrell Watkins. Jim Beheim, happy and proud, and he has a senior moment. We knew we had to play better. We weren't, we didn't deserve to be in 10 days ago, but college basketball can change so much in 10 days. This was our best game. I think Georgetown's a great team. They won 11 in a row, but our seniors really picked it up. Five in a row for Syracuse. They pull off the upset, beating Georgetown at home. Well, what happened to the Hoyas? Two of their top scorers, Jeff Green, Jonathan Wallace, struggled from the floor. Green shot three for 13. Wallace just one for seven. Just 16 combined points. Together they average over 25. Georgetown led 44-43, just under 12 minutes to play. Outscored 29-14 after that. Syracuse gets their first win in four home games against the top 25 this season. Jay Billis. It's just one loss, but should the Hoyas be concerned? I don't think Georgetown has much to be worried about at all. After an 11-game win streak was snapped at Syracuse on Big Monday, they ran into a very motivated Syracuse team looking to solidify an NCAA tournament bid, and Syracuse played their best game of the season defensively, very active in the 2-3 zone, forcing Georgetown to try to prove it over the top and from the perimeter. Roy Hibbert got in foul trouble early, wasn't much of a factor in the second half, and Syracuse limited Georgetown to one challenge shot on the offensive end. It was their three-point shooters that took over. Eric Devendorf putting the ball on the floor, finding open people like Andy Routens, who continued his hot streak, and Demetrius Nichols with 22 points. Give Syracuse credit for playing a great basketball game at home that put the Orange into the NCAA tournament. Georgetown still a solid number two seed and still with a chance to be the Big East champion. Syracuse has beaten Georgetown seven of the last eight games. Just three weeks ago, Syracuse was on the brink of playing itself outside the tournament field. But Jim Beheim's squad has turned things around again. They've won five straight, getting it done on the defensive end. They're 9-0 this season when holding opponents to 60 points or less.